TV, here's my 28. I want to share a testimony with you, not primarily about the, the 2828, but I want to share a testimony of uh, a witness that I had on the airplane coming back from Tampa, Florida, and it was really amazing because I didn't even initiate the conversation, but I was reading my scriptures over my cell phone, and um, the guy next to me wanted to know... Um, if I was looking at anything good on my phone, so I told him I was reading the scriptures, and I and I went back to reading, and about a minute later, the the man turns back to me to have a conversation and says, you know, ever since he was diagnosed with cancer, he's been uh, looking into Jesus being his savior, and um, it was a real amazing uh, conversation that I had with him, and when I was done with the conversation I asked him if he wouldn't mind if I prayed for him so I prayed for him uh, for his salvation for his situation and his trials uh, with cancer and uh, I was able to give him a copy uh, of the scriptures and um, a gospel track and I'm hoping that you know if he gets saved we will hear back from him and his name is Bob. He's from Buffalo, New York. He was flying back from uh, Tampa for a, a second opinion about his diagnosis of cancer. And I was able to show him uh, right from the scriptures, Romans chapter 10, 9 through 13, and just told him that that was uh, a beginning and the basis for him calling upon the name of the Lord to be saved. And um, I'm just praying that he gets saved. He was very open to the gospel he initiated the conversation so you never know what's going to happen folks and i'm not the greatest um witness in the world but the lord opened that opportunity for me so just pray for uh gb the challenge that he's making like we don't know where it's going to go because it's not the work that we do it's the work that the lord jesus christ does god bless y'all